Good evening, gentlemen. How are we? Right, I'll bring you a wee video regarding this bushcraft. Now, Santa has been very good to me this year, and he has brought me some prezzies. So, thought I'd make you a wee video to show you what I got, and also to point Jambo in the right direction when he gets his tap. So, first of all, we'll start at the top. Sleeping bag, good up to minus 10. That's the fella. Then we have a hammock. You pay a particular attention to this, Jamie boy. This is DD Hammocks, DD Tap 3B3. That's the fella you'll need. Um, moving right along, we have the Camel Rain Poncho, which can also be used as a, a tap. Waterproof and all that kind of shit. Yeah, there's a wee diagram on there where you can see it. Sunshade tap. Blah, blah, blah. Terra socks. Couple of hats, green and black. Well, that kind of looks navy blue, actually. But nice colours anyway, regardless. Eh, uh, be first aid kit. This was actually banging. I got this off of Amazon. And it's got fucking everything in it. Absolutely everything. It is a packing. I'm gonna walk it right up. He's on what my first fucking first aid kit is. Couple of heat pads for the old hands. Or you could put them in your arse if your arse was cold. And then we're moving on to the ferro rod. Now, I'm really pleased with this ferro rod. Ferro rod. Um, I think the composite of this is really quite soft. It's not very hard at all, so the sparks are fucking. There's loads of them. As you can see, I've had a couple of wee scrapes at it just to um, see what it was like. I won't do it just now in the video, just because it's. Uh, I don't want to set the carpet on fire. And then I've got this wee bad boy. It doesn't look like the best shovel in the world, but it'll fucking do, you know. Digging a wee fire pit or digging worms or whatever I might be using. Now, it can go into the shovel or it can go into a pick or it can get into a trench tool. It's a great wee number and there's a wee handle in there as well just so you can extend the fucker. But I'm quite pleased with this bad boy. The case is a bit cheapy looking to be honest, I think I'm maybe get rid of the case. But um, it'll do just now. It will do just now. And I got a couple of these books as well. Now, I was quite pleased with these. I didn't know that this came as a hardback book. Bushcraft Illustrated, a visual guide. Uh, there's whole fucking sections are dedicated to axing and knots and taps and fires and kindling and everything that you would need. I don't know about hoof fungus in this page. Hoof fungus. Use that. That's a great source of kindling. But um, this book, I'm really pleased with this, boys. And the other one as well, Bushcraft 101, Field Guide to the Art of Wilderness Survival. Done by the same author. I'll have his know. Big Dave Canterbury. A fucking legend, apparently. So he's a fella. He is a fella. Moving right along to the good stuff, we have the standard Mora Knife. Swedish fella, Cal, you'll probably, I think you've already got one of these, mate, so you'll be quite fucking familiar with this bad boy. Um, but really pleased with it. Um, don't be put off by the plastic sheath. I think that's what I felt as well when I first looked at it, because I was originally going to go for the, the heavy duty number, the all black thing. But this is just fucking perfect, really. It does need, the spine of the blade does need filed, so it can be used with a ferro rod, but using this wee thing is just a lot more practical and it comes with the ferro rod so no need to take your knife out unnecessarily. So we'll pop that back in and it clicks into place as well so it can't fall out. Nice wee thing, I think it's about 3.2, 3.4 inches or something maybe. Uh, this is the wee harness for the GoPro. I've got one of these fucking fuckers. So you see me up in the highlands taking over YouTube, coming for all these boys, all these survival guys. I'll be me. And what do we have next? Ha We have the Mora Axe. Now, I didn't know about this thing when I first looked at it online, but oh my god. It's, uh, it's quite a small axe, but it feels really well weighted, even when you grip. Just the handle here, you feel as if you just want to chop shit. So it's really well done. Really pleased with it. And because it's black as well, I was thinking maybe it could be... 
uh, what do you call it? the names just fucking slipped my mind. Me and Carl were talking about it the other night. Is it carbon steel? Aye. Is it carbon steel? It doesn't tell me much on the box. I can't remember when I looked at it at the time. There wasn't any instructions or, you know, you know we can uh, bit of paper with some specs and shit on it. So I'll probably go back online and have a look to see if it's stainless steel or it's carbon steel. But uh, all the same, very nice axe. And there's a wee sheath that goes with it as well. I just took the sheath off before I did the video, so it was easier when I actually went to show it. So that's that. I'll put that back in the box. So I'm quite pleased with this wee build up of stuff I've got just now. I've got boots and all that shit. I need to get a pack. That's the main thing. That's the next thing. A pack. Get myself a backpack. Old Bergen. That's losing focus. Now we move on to the last thing now. The jacket. Pleased with this bad boy. I would actually just wear that out in the fucking street. Rather than just keeping it for bushcraft because I actually quite like jackets like that. Nice beige number. All fleecy and shit inside. Proper outdoor jacket. So, very pleased with that number as well. So, more stuff to follow. And we'll get this bushcraft thing underway. And 2020 will be the year of the crafting. And by 2021, I'll fucking be making spoons and bow and arrows. I mean, just living the fucking world. Forever. So, anyway, boys. That's my wee video. It's my wee collection. I uh, will speak to you online soon. Arrivederci.